If you were to guess how to pronounce it, what would you say? Juhu. I think it's called Jabu. Oh, it's a Jahu. I think it's Jabu. <laughs> Have you ever tried Russian snacks before? I don't think I've tried Russian snacks before, which is a travesty because I am part Russian. So I feel like I need to tap into my heritage a little bit and try these. I've never had Russian snacks before, but I feel like I've seen this before. It's the only thing I can pronounce, Cremo. I'm super excited about a couple of the things, the ones that have chocolate. You know me, I'm a huge chocolate fan. So this one looks really, really good. I'm just not gonna pronounce that. I'm probably most excited about this. This is up my alley. I mean, this looks really, really good, you guys. I like wafers. Like, I love wafers. This one, this tops situation, I'm not an orange fan. Yes, it has chocolate on it, but mixing fruit and chocolate, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think least though, I don't like these types of crackers that are like dried. So I'm not really excited about that. This one I'm least excited about. It looks dry. It looks small. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll give it a chance. So I'm ready to, to dig in and give it um, an honest review. You ready for your first one? I'm ready. Let's do it. There it goes. I can't see it because it's backwards. Ah. All right. So Prima, huh? You know, I'm not a fan of pretzels. And definitely not a fan of pretzels and peanut butter. Let's give it a go. You know, I, I'm indifferent about these. It's a long pretzel stick. Uh. So let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. You know what? It's actually not bad. We have things like this in America. The the peanut butter pretzel sticks that I've had are like short and fat, but I, I like it. It's good. The peanut butter flavor comes through. It's a crunchy pretzel. I couldn't eat this regularly, but you know, if someone gave it to me, I wouldn't mind it. I'd be like, ah, it's okay. It's an okay snack. I mean, pretzels are always dry, but the peanut butter does give it some moisture in the middle. So I think it's really delicious. On a one to 10, I give it a seven and a half. I like it. I would say overall, it's good. You know, I give it like a five out of 10. I'm kind of not really loving it, not hating it. It's kind of whatever. I give it a five out of 10. You said you like chocolate, right? I do like chocolate. I think I got something for you. Don't know how to pronounce it. It has a tropical theme because it has some palm trees on it. If you were to guess how to pronounce it, what would you say? Juhu. I think it's called Jabu. Oh, it's a Jahu. I think it's Jabu. <laughs> Smells good. I have a feeling maybe it has coconut in it. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'll try it. I don't really want to. It smells like licorice. But let's give it a go. Yeah, coconut. I actually like coconut and chocolate. Like in America, we have these things called mounds and it's chocolate with coconut. This, it's missing. So this started off tasting like a mound, but there was an aftertaste. I don't know what happened or how that happened, but now it's grainy. The coconut is extremely grainy, but also the flavor, it just doesn't, it's not hitting for me. It, like, I don't want more of it. It's like a, a sadder version of a mouth. I just don't, it's not that good. It's not bad. It's just not, it's not really up my alley. First bite's good, but then it just loses the flavor. Um, so on a one to 10, honestly, this one, it's like a three, but it's fun to try. You know, I would give this a six. I could eat a whole thing of these. I could eat this whole thing and be happy. So I would give this a six out of 10. We're gonna see what this one tastes like. Al Alpino, I guess. Alpino, let's see how it is. I love wafer, guys. I love wafers and chocolate. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this could be bad. So it looks like a chocolate wafer. Um, it's very light, like in weight. And it's a hazelnut. I'm a fan of hazelnut. Okay, that's not working. Try the other side. <laughs> oh, got it. Woo! Okay. Ooh! Look at that. It looks good. Ooh, it smells a little weird. I'm taking it a bite. Let's see how it is. At first, it's very flavorful, and then it just goes away. So I could taste the hazelnut for sure, and the hazelnut is 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 good. I don't mind it 100%. It's not bad. Yeah, so there's some chocolate on the inside of this. 
I don't know if it's hitting with the hazelnut, in my opinion. I test things based on if I want another bite of it, and I don't really. It's not bad, so I'm gonna give this a five out of 10, because I do think it's the middle of the road. I'd give this like a five. I could finish it if I wanted to, but I'm just not. I'm putting that back in there, and I'm handing it off. <laughs> Bringing it back to chocolate. Okay, the Cremo, or a Cremo. It looks like there's a caramel in the middle and some chocolate. This can't be disappointing. So it looks like there's caramel. That's caramel. That's caramel right there, you guys. Let's do this. Ooh, like a little pod. Oh God, I don't, what is that? I shouldn't have, I don't even know. Let's take a bite. No. <laughs> no. What are you tasting right now? I think I need to knock him. No. Don't you want another bite? <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, that's the inside of it. There's something with the hazelnut. It's like lackluster. It tricks you into thinking it's good because of that chocolate. The chocolate is good quality. It's the inside that's a little just weird and just not, not good. I mean, you're gonna ask me to describe the flavor. I'm just gonna say not good. You know, it just it has that in the middle. I wasn't expecting it. Which by the way, this picture looks like caramel. That does not look like the picture. What's the crunch? That was a crunch. What could you describe that to? I'll give this one a four out of 10. I'm a little disappointed though, you guys. I was hoping for caramel in there and there's nothing. There's nothing at all. Uh, that's like a two. You ready for the next one? Ready. Bam. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I wonder what, is it gonna be a brownie? Is it gonna be like a wafer? So far these chocolate things aren't really working for me today. It looks like a, a brownie. It looks like a brownie. You can't mess up a brownie. You just can't. You can't mess up a brownie. It tastes like, it smells like alcohol. It has, al it has alcohol in it. It's, it has alcohol. The chocolate has alcohol in it. I hate chocolate and like liquor. And I know it's popular. I get it, but it's not popular in this household. Okay, there we go. I'm, no, I'm going with, in, with an open mind. I really am. No, this is disappointing. It's just a very light chocolate. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It smells way worse than it tastes. Hold on. It's actually not bad. The flavor of these aren't, it's not that they're bad or anything like that. It just, I don't think it's just what I'm used to with the flavor. Cause it, it tastes like hazelnut and everything now. I can't even decide the difference. Everything's hazelnut. But this smells like alcohol. <laughs> it smells, I'm tasting alcohol. Out of one to 10, I give it a three. I actually give this a five out of 10, maybe even a six. Watch it not have liquor and you guys are gonna come for me, I swear. All right. Okay. But it's a tomato and mozzarella flavor, which I think sounds really good. I need redemption, guys. I need some redemption. It's been going bad so far, so let's see how this is. Ooh, they're so cute. It looks like it has a lot of seasoning on it. Oh, that smells good. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, so it is seasoned on the back side of that. Seems like it's gonna be crisp. Let's see. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That flavor is hitting. It is coming through. You know what? I'm not eating anything else. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm eating these. It's just really seasoned really, really well. I'm definitely gonna like a tomato mozzarella situation going on. I know in the beginning, I was saying I wasn't a hundred percent a big fan of these chips like this because they're a little bit dried, but they're actually good. I mean, maybe it's in comparison to some of the chocolate I had, but I don't think that's it. I think these are just so good. It's like a chip, but even better. And what's cool about this, no preservatives. It uses natural coloring, natural flavors. Uh, or it says palm oil free. Sorry, that's palm oil's not good. Uh. They don't taste artificial. These taste natural. And you know, obviously it says natural ingredients. So makes sense. These are a, these are a nine out of 10. These are a nine out of 10. I could eat this all day. Wow. I'm just gonna keep eating these. Save some for me. It's too late. I think I'm gonna help you out here a little bit. 
little bit of a break. Ooh, okay. My favorite looking one. Looks like wafer, looks like chocolate. Oh, one of those cute little bears. Mwaka Coco Nanbui. My accent's just not there yet. I don't know, I can never open these. Oh, I did it. We're going in on this chocolate bar. Ooh, that looks good. So this actually reminds me of a, a Nutter Butter. Have you guys ever had Nutter Butters? It reminds me of it because it's, it's the exact same thing, only it's a little thicker and it looks better quality. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah, this is good. They all need to be like this. The wafer is perfect. It's crunchy, melts in your mouth. It's chocolate. It's really good quality. It's almost like a dark chocolate. And then you get a hint of an almond on top. Mmm. The wafer on here, incredible. The chocolate is so flavorful. These are nine. I can eat these every day, all day. This is a 10. This is a 10. It's really, really good. I don't give a lot of things a 10, but I could probably eat this whole thing with like a glass of milk. Really good. On to the next one. Are you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, the thing I can't pronounce. Sikaks? Sikaks. I don't know if I said that right. You guys tell me. Ooh, I like that it's round. It actually looks like a ho-ho. Uh, chocolatey on the outside. Let's see how the inside is. All right, here we go. Oh my god. I had this ready for you. It's similar to that that pod one that was small. So it's hazelnut, but I swear I'm smelling liqueur. It definitely tastes like rum is in here. I think that's what I'm tasting is this hazelnut is very strong in here. You guys, I love hazelnut. Whatever they're using for these candies are just not good really. This is a one out of 10. This is a three out of 10. Um, it's not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's definitely not really great either. So I'd have to pass on this one. This is three out of 10. I think you were most excited about this. It looks like a Neapolitana Crema. So like a vanilla cream. I don't know if it's Neapolitan. I don't know if Neapolitan. I don't know if that's Neapolitan. Neapolitan in America is like a chocolate vanilla strawberry situation. I doubt that that's what this is. Ooh. It smells, ooh, it smells very vanilla-y. Taking a bite. Let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Mm, okay. It's a vanilla wafer, very light. It'll be good with a glass of milk. It's like a little creamy, a little vanilla-y on the inside. The wafer's good on the outside. Ice cream with this or coffee? Ooh, that would be so good. It almost tastes more natural than like the ingredients that we have in America. On a one to 10, I think I would give this a, I'd give it a seven. I'll give this an eight out of 10. Okay, I was least excited about this. Bonzetta. That's my song. Um. I don't want this. <laughs> Let's be honest, I don't want this. Don't ask me what it smells like. It doesn't smell like anything good. Okay, so Quaker Oats used to make the Nature Maids or Nature's Valley, things like this. I think they still do. It's 100%, it looks exactly like it, but it doesn't smell like it at all. So, hope it's good. Is that a raisin in there? It looks like almost like a cranberry. I don't know. You guys, we're gonna get this over with. I'll go. Oh no, what is that? Oh no. Oh no, I go. Oh. Take another bite. I'm not taking another bite. <laughs> and that is not good. It was like soft, chewy, and the flavor was just like, I don't even know. It was like oaty, like wannabe fruity, but it wasn't fruity. It was kind of bland, but also gross. I got it. I I'm gonna say this is similar to when you have popcorn with no salt. That's the taste that's left in my mouth right now. Do you taste the fruitiness to it? There's supposed to be like apples and grapes. There's no fruit in here. <laughs> I didn't taste any fruit at all. This is definitely a one. It's a one out of 10. Oh, one out of 10. It's probably the most healthiest for you, I'm sure, but mm -mm. nip. We'll see what you think of these. <laughs> okay, this is the orange. You guys know how I feel about chocolate and orange. I do not like orange and chocolate. Tops, come on. I love orange. I love orange a lot, but I can't tell you how much I hate it with chocolate. And now I'm forced to have to try this. I think it has to be better than the hazelnut though. Chocolate on one side, cookie on the bottom. 
It looks like an alien spacecraft. Let's see how it is. It's for you guys. It's actually not bad. The chocolate tastes fine. The cookie's fine too. And to be honest, even the orange, I like the fact that it is like, um, it's jelly-like, the orange in the middle, and it's not a lot. It actually is good quality stuff altogether. But once again, I just don't like the combination of orange and the chocolate. But I gotta be honest, I would eat these. I do not like orange and chocolate. But it's, for people who do like orange and chocolate, it, though, you'll probably like it. I don't wanna eat more, but also I don't wanna spit it out. So I feel like that says something. Three out of 10. I'll give it a three out of 10. To me, this just tastes like a, 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 a quality snack. I think out of one to 10, I'm gonna give them a six. And, and a six, and a, probably a six and a half, because I would actually eat these. I'm shocked and I was given a hard time. I'm shocked it's that good. All right, here we go. Next. Thank you. Fortuna. Just says Fortuna and there's a lady. Okay. Ooh, so it's like a chocolate bar. Chocolate piece? Here we go. Cat food. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's a little bit of cat foody. <laughs> they got me. They got me with this one. I I don't like to spit stuff out, guys. I try to swallow it, but I can't do this one. I gotta spit it out, guys. You guys, that's bad. I'm not sure I can understand how chocolate could taste like cat food. But something's going on in there. It's not good. This is a one out of 10. The after flavor is really bad. It says a really bad taste, so. Sorry, I don't like it, Fortuna. It's a unique flavor that I've never really tasted before. This is a zero, guys. I never give it, usually it's a one. This is a zero. So you said you love fruit with your chocolate, huh? Oh no. I wanna end with a win. This is it. Bananco, okay, it's a banana. Actually, if I'm gonna do chocolate with a fruit, I can do banana. Okay. That's a very interesting shape. Oh God. <laughs> what is a shape? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. I don't think I'm gonna like this, but let's try it. I'm gonna have an open mind. First off, it actually tastes like there might actually be banana in here because I'm tasting a little bit of like the chunkiness of like banana a little bit, but it's not banana. Um, it really tastes like banana. It's a very strong banana, but also like not fresh. You know, it's obviously not fresh. It's like candied, if that makes sense. You're eating like sugar particles as you're crunching down. It was weird. So like you could hear yourself chew. We're gonna put this little banana back in its thing. It's a three out of 10. To be fair, that other one was 10 times worse. This is a one. I couldn't ever eat this again though. I, I feel like they should stop making these eggs out. I gotta pass on that. What was your experience eating Western snacks for the first time? I was surprised at the level of hazelnut. Also, there was definitely quite a bit of like fruitiness I felt like, which was interesting, but mixed with, I swear, a liquor taste. And I don't know if that's right or not. There were definitely some gems in there, you know, like a lot of wafer kind of things. I think the wafers were really good, but I appreciated trying it and it was really fun. And I'm excited to see what you think. Overall, as a collection of what I had, it was okay. They were okay. I'm sure there's a lot of better snacks out there that I'm sure that we would love. Um, but these, I think that we had as a whole, um, they were okay. They were okay. It was fun though. I really enjoyed it.